So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Join me and Pixel as we compete as fledging railroad companies to see who can gain the most fame as we try and build our railroads across the US. And who will have the most shares and fame at the end of it? We can only wait and see. So all the setups already done, so this has all been randomised and then I'm going to be first player, so Pixel who is yellow, and of course I'm blue, took the first turn placing trains on the track and we've now placed all of our trains. Uh, what we've ended up with, we've got a USA freight town here, a coast to coast town here, trading post here, general store here, coal yard there. And then these, we've got just your normal endpoints and a stock market. And the upgrades we've got this game, we've got the open wagon, which allows you to spend a coal in order to perform two trades, which is the same as then using a trading post. We've got the minecart, spend a coal, take a gold. The warehouse, spend a coal and take either a common resource or a rare resource. And then finally, a new whistle. Spend a coal to get a whistle. And our starting hand of tiles, we have these three. So I think I've got a plan to kind of rush to the end. Um, but we'll see how that goes, I think. I'm not really too sure. But it is us first, so starting the first round, we do take... So we start with two coal and a whistle, and we get two more coal for our first turn and I guess we'll start by using a coal to move this train there getting a blue and then kind of liking the look of something I can see as an option because if we move this there we could move this then there to there and that would be blocking pixel so would that work so that's two three, four, and that would collect a lot of resources and they were queued up to do a lot of leapfrogging, which seems like a good idea because my plan is to race to the end. So leapfrogging is key for doing that because if I can do that while she's still collecting up shares, it could go pretty well. So yeah, we'll spend another coal and, go do, 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 and get a white resource which we're just adding these to our player board, you don't really need to see it. And we'll spend another coal, although I could really do with then getting to the coal yard, but I can go to the coal yard next time. So yeah, we'll do that. So we get a green as well. So we've now got a green, a blue, and a white. And we'll spend a fourth coal to then leapfrog both of these, going there and getting a brown. Now, we could end our turn there, or we could buy an upgrade. We can afford one upgrade. So, we can do two common and get, I think we'll go for the warehouse. Pick that up. Then we clear up our play area and it's Pixel's go. Pixel's going to spend a whistle. So, she can move in any direction and up to two stops. So what she's going to do, she's going to go one, skipping over this, two to the coal yard. So she gains two coal and she's then going to use one along here to get a blue. And she'll spend a second coal, which is her third token she spent, to move again. She's going to move the same one, placing this tile here. So she's going to move to there and get a white cube and she'll spend a final token which is going to be a third coal to move this there and get another white cube. She'll then spend two white resources to gain open wagon and that's then her done so she clears up her play area removing all of these and she needs to draw up another pile and she's just going to draw blind off the stack. 
We then start our second round, so everyone gets two coal. And I'll spend one coal to leapfrog. So I'll leapfrog that one, that one, into the coal yard here. So that will gain me two more coal. And I will then spend a coal to go to the general store. And I'll take a brown resource. I'll then spend a third coal, moving this guy to here to get a white resource. And I've now got the resources needed for the USA freight town here. So I'm thinking I can probably get there using these. So what I'll do is I'll use my last coal to move my train up here that hasn't yet moved and beat Pixel to the USA freight. So I go along here and then along here. And placing this here, carry straight on into this town. So that's a brown and a white, getting me five points. And the first stock of the yellow colour. And I've then only got one tile in hand, so I need to draw up. And I want things that are going to help me get to this space. That's my goal, the 25 pointer, the big one, which needs blue, green, red. So, I need things that are going to help me get there, and help me do it quickly, ideally. So, what will fit that criteria? Um, well, I mean, a straight line will definitely be good for quick, so I think I'll take that. And then we'll go for one off the top, which is a gold mine. Well, that will certainly be reasonably quick. And the new tile out is a whistle factory. And it's then Pixel's go. And Pixel is going to spend a coal to move this there, getting a brown. Which then use another coal to move the same train again. And she's going to leapfrog her two that are already there to come off over this way. And she's going to place this tile here. So following along, she lands there, getting a red. So she's got three there, she's going to do another move, this time up here, to get a grey cube. Then her fourth token's going to be another coal, allowing her to do a leapfrog. And she's going to go one to there. So she gives up a blue and a grey, which she does have, gets the first coast to coast stock and seven points. Then draws up and is just going to take off the top of the deck. And new round, we each get two more coal. Kind of like some more coal, so I'm going to use one coal to place the gold mine here because that way Pixel's not going to gain any benefit from it, she's not going to pick up any gold. I pick up one, which is worth four points, so not bad. And then I will use a second coal, which is the last of my coal, to leapfrog over this train into the coal yard, giving me two more coal. So I'm going to use one to move this guy off the town in this direction. So placing like that or like that like that'll do so he'll go off here to that brown so I get a brown resource and then my final coal I'm gonna move this guy off in this direction placing my final tile just there and he'll carry on to the white. So I gain a white resource. Then drawing up, I don't like the look of either of those, any of those three, so I'm just going to go for three off the top here and just hope they're what I want. So let's see, what do we get? Well, that definitely isn't. 
that definitely isn't, and that definitely isn't. So, not great. So, Pixel's going to use a coal to move to the trading post. And her first trade, she's going to trade in the green cube that she just got to get a grey and a white common resource. And she's second trade, for her second trade, she is going to trade a white for two coal. Another coal will allow her to move there and she's going to get, she'll get a blue resource which will be useful as she spends a fourth coal to move this train along here into this town. So she gives up a blue and a grey to do another coast to coast giving her another seven points, taking her to 14. So new round and we get two more coal. So we kind of need to get some more coal. So we'll probably need to visit the coal yard this time. I also want to try and get rid of these ideally because, well, they have the threat of being worth minus 10 points. And these stocks are not gonna do much for me at all. This stock could though, well, let's start by using a coal to leapfrog this guy into the coal yard. So I'm going to get two more coal. I'm going to spend a coal to use the warehouse. And I'm going to take a red cube. And then I'll use a whistle to move this train along here. And I will then jump this stop landing here because I don't really want to go try and compete on this coast to coast because Pixel's already got two of them so just skipping it seems the best option to me and then a white a red and a brown is what I need for this end stop giving me 15 more points taking me up to 20 and I can then place my train on one of these spaces I'm gonna go for this one here so I get one of my choice which is going to be a red resource and then I also get two coal. Then for my fourth token I'm going to use coal again and I'm going to move this guy into the coal yard getting me two more coal. Then what I'm really after is something to connect these two lines and I mean this would do it but there's two stops and same with this. I don't really want to be going through two stops so I could take the whistle factory. I mean that would sit in there nicely. Um, but I'd rather have just a normal stop or nothing. So we need to draw one. We're gonna go for a off the top. Ah, excellent. That will do nicely. And then of course it's Pixel's go. So she will spend a coal moving back down here to join me in the coal yard and get two coal. She'll spend another coal to move one of these out. And go like that or like that like that I think so on to the white then a coal to go up here spending a brown and a white to get five points and a USA freight stock then her fourth token is another coal She's going to go back down to the trading post and she's going to trade a red for a white and a brown and she's going to trade the brown for two coal tokens then drawing up she needs to draw one more she's going to take that one and the new one out is a gray and a white so we clear up and we start a new round with two coal each and I'm going to spend a coal to move one of these out along here jumping this train and carrying along to the end stop so I give up a blue a green and a red getting me 25 points taking me all the way up to 45 and my train I will place I'll place here and get a red and two coal. 
And I'm then going to spend a coal to use the warehouse to get a white cube. And then, hmm. See, I want these so I can safely pick up one of those stocks. So, yeah, I think I'm going to spend another one to move this train out this way to visit this town, which does mean that Pixel might then do the same. But I can then do red and white to take me up to 52 points and gain a red stock. I'll then spend a fourth coal to move up here to the general store and I'll take a red cube. Pixel's going to use a coal to leapfrog this guy and that way or that way or that way I think that way to there getting a brown resource then we use a coal to revisit this town up here so that's a brown and a white for five more points taking her to 19 and a second yellow stock so she now has the majority on that she'll then use another coal to visit the general store and we'll take a red cube and another coal to go back to the coal yard for two coal. And I forgot to draw up. I want these two because I know they're not going to be special, so they're not going to be lumbering me with negative points. And fortunately, that didn't actually affect what Pixel did on her turn. Pixel is then going to take the whistle factory for her drawing up. And the replacement is that one there. So we each gain two more coal as we move into the next round. So I think this turn we're just going to use the warehouse for the whole lot. So first we will take a green. Then we'll take a red. And we'll take blue. And we'll take a green. So nice simple turn for us. I just figured we'll do that in case we then lose this, in case Pixel manages to buy it off us. Pixel will use one coal to visit the whistle stop here. And gain a whistle. Oh, sorry, she didn't want to move that one. She wanted to move that one. So leapfrogging this guy. She'll then use a whistle to leapfrog that station and go straight to that one, getting a white. Then another coal to visit the general store where she'll pick up a green resource. And her last action is gonna be a coal to go from the whistle factory to this end stop here. So red, white, and green gets her 20 points, taking her to 39 points. So I'm on 52 to 39. And she also gets to place her train somewhere here. And she is going to go just here. And it's kind of obvious why she's done that, because she needs green cubes. And that's obviously then going to mess up with me given that I went there and I've got the power which is using coal so which I used a lot last time but yeah I think that was a good move for her to do then drawing up she's gonna go for this tile here and the new one out oh it's a new town that we've not seen before and new round we each get two more coal and I think this time I'm more worried about her blocking off the train spots I want to take. So I hadn't expected her to get to the end quite yet. Uh, she, she jumped a lot there. 
So I'm going to use one coal to leapfrog this guy into the end here. Just going to use blue, green, red for another 25 points, taking me to 77. And I'll place the train on this one, getting me a blue and two coal, which should mean I've got plenty of coal now to do my dash to the end. But I do need more resources. And especially as I'm probably going to have to go through a stock point to manage it, unless I go through a coal yard, which isn't going to be point, very pointful. So I think what I'll do is I'll use a coal, and we're going to move this one to the end point with green, red, and blue for another 25 points, taking us to 102. And the train is going to go here. So we get a coal and a whistle. And one other thing, I think we're going to go with a red cube. We'll then use the warehouse to pick up a white cube and use it again, this time to pick up a green cube. And Pixel has had enough of me having the uh, warehouse there. It's, it's being far too beneficial. So she's going to spend a coal to move this to the whistle factory. So I'll get her a whistle. She's then going to spend another coal to move there, getting a brown. And then another coal to go there and get another brown. She'll then use two common resources and will have to give me a green to take the warehouse from me, which she will immediately use using a coal to get a red resource. Then she cleans up and it's on to the next round. And with the loss of the warehouse, we're going to have a slight change of plans because I had been going to go there and then whistle to there. But that's not going to be an option now. But what I can do is use a whistle to go there and get a white resource and then spend two white cubes and give up a rare cube to get the warehouse back. Then use the warehouse to get a blue cube. Then use the warehouse to get, I don't know, a red cube, we'll say. And then final coal will move my final train to the end. And I'll do red, green, blue. And I'll place there, taking two whistles and a green cube. And as that's my final train, that makes this the final round. And I do get 25 more points, taking me to 127. And you can see I really rushed this because we're only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in. We still had four more potential rounds. So I've properly rushed the end points on this, um, which is a tactic you can employ. Pixel's desperate for points. She's going to use a coal to visit the coal yard to get two more coal. She'll then use coal to go back to the general store to get a white cube. And she'll then use a coal to move this to the end of the line. And red, green, white will get her 20 points, taking her to 59. And she'll also get to place her train not sure she can place it anywhere that's going to enable her to particularly get any points at this stage. So I think what she's going to do is she's going to just go here, get a red, a coal and a whistle. And she'll then use a whistle to bypass the whistle factory. Go straight along here, go straight along here, and then in to the stock market. And she has four shares, 
getting her 12 points, taking her to 71. Then she's got to get rid of a share, and she needs those to get keep majority, so she'll get rid of that one. And her train will go there, getting her a green, a coal, and a whistle. And that's the end of the game. Time for our final scoring. Starting with shares, let's see. Pixel beats me out on the yellow, and she gets the light blue, so she'll get 30 points, taking her to 101. And I'll get 15 points for the red, taking me to 142. Then next up, we have our upgrades. So Pixel gets five, and I get three points. Then gold tokens, the one I picked up was worth four points, and Pixel doesn't have any. Then common resources, neither of us actually has any. The rare resources, we both have two, so we both get six more points. And then tokens, Pixel has five tokens, which is two more points. And I have three tokens, which is one more point. So the final scores, oh, no, wait, we need to reveal from our hand. And Pixel never drew up, so she needs to draw up. So she'll go that, that, and then take a risk on that one. Oh, coal yard, that's so unfortunate because there's no way she could have done better on that draw. So that's going to be minus 10 points for Pixel there. Taking her back down to 104. So 156 for me, 104 for Pixel. So there you have it. That is Whistle Stop by Bezier Games. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of my videos. Give it a like, a share and a comment. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.